Uh, we have our guests, Octavio and Erica from Mexico City, and they came to join us Monday night for prayer, which I thought was really awesome that they came. So uh, when I first saw Erica, her face was totally swollen. And you had gone to the dentist, and they, they did uh, some checking to see if there was maybe an abscess tooth, and there was not. So then they told you to go to the emergency room. And when they went to the emergency room, the doctor said, uh, this is really, really dangerous. We don't know what it is. We want to do some more tests. And so, so they came here for prayer. And so, Kathy, can, uh, Erica, can you come up? And I'm going to have, and Kathy, you too, if you would, please. And I'm going to have Kathy interpret what happened here on Monday night. So we had Pastor Loida pray for Erica. And before she did, uh, I laid hands before she did. Yeah, come on, come on right up here in front. So before uh, Pastor Loida prayed for Erica, the Lord led me to lay hands on her head and rebuke the enemy from attacking her. And uh, it was pretty strong. And then uh, we prayed for her, and afterwards the Lord gave me a boldness to tell Kathy, uh, I want you to send me a photograph of her healed in the morning, because the Lord spoke that she would be healed by tomorrow morning, which was yesterday morning. So... um, Kathy, do you want to share with everyone what Erica told you? And, and if Erica wants to share how she felt, then you can interpret. Okay. Um, yeah. So she was really swollen, and then uh, they prayed for her, and then we went home. She went to bed really bad. And then in the morning, she was okay. I mean, she was healed, and we were very surprised, and, and I took a picture of her, and I sent it right away to Pastor Greg. Amen. And then she told me that when we were praying here for her, she told me that she felt like something was coming down, like, like suction from here, where she was very swollen, and then she said she burped like three times. And she thinks that that was the healing that was happening when, when we were praying for her. Praise God. And so the next morning, and Pastor shared with her some um, Bible verses, and she read them. And we, we were really surprised that she did get healed, like <laughs> Pastor had said. Amen. So, praise God. So we praise God, and we thank him for that. Amen. Right. Uh, Erica, would you do you want to say anything? And she can translate for you. En español. Sí. Doy gracias a Dios. I praise the Lord. Por, I thank God. Por la oración que hicieron los ancianos de la iglesia. For por the, el pastor. For the prayer that the elders and pastor did for me. Fue eh, algo impresionante mm-hmm. después de la oración. It was something very impressive to me after the prayer. Empecé a eruptar. She burped. She started to burp. Y sentí cómo se me iba desinflando el. And she felt how the swollenness was getting down. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's let's thank the Lord. For that, Amen, and give Him all the glory, because we know who heals. Only the Lord heals, Amen. So, Father, we thank you for our sister. We thank you for uh, Octavio that came here, and also for Kathy that brought them. And we praise you, Father, for this miraculous healing. We saw it with our own eyes, Lord, how swollen she was. And even the doctors at the emergency room were very concerned and didn't even know what it was. But we give you thanks and praise, Lord. We know you healed our sister. And she can now go back uh, when she goes back home to Mexico City and share what great things God has done for her. So bless her and bless them in Jesus' name. And we praise you. Hallelujah. Amen.
Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. You. God bless you. Thank God bless you. Amen. I will bless the